This video is brought to you by 3, bringing you 4G at no extra cost and some exclusive deals over at btech.com. Hey guys, welcome to BTEC. I'm Basil and today I'm gonna to take a look at two 4K videos with you. The LG G3's 4K video and the Sony Xperia Z2's 4K video. Now these are two very different cameras. You've got a 13 megapixel optically image stabilized sensor and lens combination on the LG G3. You've also got laser autofocus, which sounds space aged, but this is a very real phone and it takes great pictures. But how does a 4K video stack up against a 20.7 megapixel sensor on the Sony Xperia Z2, which is complete with digital image stabilization. Well, that's what this is all about. Before we can even get started, it's worth saying that one of the key differences that we noticed before we even looked at the videos is the file sizes. The LG G3 compresses the life out of its video. The 4K footage, despite being the same resolution and the same time, is around 500 megabytes, whereas the Sony Xperia Z2's footage is around 900 megabytes. So that's the first impression, and it'll suggest from the offset that the LG G3 will have worse video, although it'll be better for space saving on your phone. Keep watching to see a side by side which is a cropped version of these two and it will be in full HD not 4K. For the full resolution versions you can download the links which will be in the description below or you can click through to the annotations and that'll take you through to our other videos. We've uploaded the Sony Xperia Z2 and LG G3 video separately. So you can enjoy all of those and if you've got any thoughts fire them in the comments section below. If you like the videos make sure you click the like button and if you like the channel in general and want more of this kind of content, subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to BTEC. Basil here with an LG G3 and a Sony Xperia Z2 recording exactly the same clip on both, one in each hand. This will illustrate how the optical image stabilization on the G3 fares against the digital image stabilization on the Z2. In addition, they have different compression rates as well as different optics. So let's kick off by checking how, how exposure change fares. We can pan up to the sky and down and up to the sky and down. Keeping up in the sky we can pan in on something even darker and you can see how quickly that adjusted. While we're here with this shrubbery we can take a look at some macro so we can pull in close and you can see that the Z2 has automatically refocused. We'll need to tap the screen in order to refocus on the G3. What's nice about the G3 though is that it locks that focus so we can pull it in on another macro object and it's locked in focus whereas if we pull in on that same object on the Z2 there's a chance yeah it'll go straight into the background. Um, we can pull in really close in that case on the G3 and lock the focus right up close and pull in on a macro follow the Z2. Hopefully if we get enough of the macro object in frame, the Z2, yep, as you can see, it has actually refocused. The Z2 appears to give more background blur than the G3, um, so it might have a more wide open aperture lens, or some of that might be digital, even though doubt it very much in video. Um, right, now that we've got that covered macro, we can pull out and you can see the G3's locked focus. We can tap on the bikes, whereas the Z2 has continuously auto-focused throughout. We can pan around and see how it copes with general movement and ambient noise. And that is our video sample. We do digital zoom tests, but we haven't got enough free hands given that we've got one of these phones in each hand. Hopefully you've enjoyed, hopefully you found it useful. Download the full resolution clips below and compare and contrast. We're gonna post these videos separately on YouTube so you can click the link in the description to get to the other phone's video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure that you click like. If you like the channel, click subscribe. Head over to BTEC over there. You can find the latest in smartphones, tablets, smart gadgets, and some awesome deals as well. At the top of the screen is where you can find three hand-picked videos for your viewing pleasure. On the left is where you can subscribe and on the right hand side you can find some exclusive deals if you head over to btext.com.